All right, this will be a quick video on uh, how I convert plastic precision ski do skis over to leaf springs. Now, one of the nice things about the precision skis that make them uh, easy to convert over are these uh, two ribs that you have running down the length of the ski, and they kind of act as a uh, a little bit of a saddle for when you put the leaf spring in there. Other skis like Arctic Cat and stuff, they have uh, some cross bracing that would interfere if you tried to run the leaf spring the same way you would on a precision. And one of the problems that you'll run into converting plastic skis over is the way that the uh, the weight's distributed from a leaf spring. Leaf spring has it at both far ends. IFS goes right in the middle, which are what these skis are designed to uh, support. So when you start putting all the weight out the two far ends, the ski's going to flex in the center. Uh, the precisions have quite a bit of bracing here, which makes them uh, not flex quite as much as maybe like an Arctic Cat ski would. Now you will have to clearance a little bit underneath the uh, the ski loops here for the front of the spring so it rides on here, because you're just going to be uh, mounting the spring underneath the stock bolt for the ski loop. There's a standard 26 inch leaf spring just sitting in the precision ski there. As you can see, I'm using the original bolt from the ski loop, and that's about where the uh, the back end of the spring will end up. You just need some scrap plate, and you can uh, cut some brackets out. And uh, once you get the uh, profile, you just bend them. There might also be some trimming around the back to get your uh, rear spring mount mounted flush and flat along the ski. Once you get the rear spring mount located where you want it. Um, I use some flathead machine screws and uh, countersunk the holes a little bit so you get a nice smooth uh, transition over your attachment point there. You'll have to stack some washers or make a spacer down in between here because there's about a quarter to three eighths of an inch gap that the leaf spring will move back and forth in if you don't take that up. And there's the finished product. Even though these skis are pretty strong, they still there's a bit of flex whenever you put the uh, weight of the sled on them. So the next time I make these, I'm going to either uh, extend this bracket a bit further up into the center of the ski here, or possibly incorporate a, a channel the whole way along the uh, the keel of the ski there to uh, make it a lot more rigid and try to eliminate that flex. So we'll do some testing this season and see how they hold up.